Um, one of the things we learned early on is that uh, in order to make any program work, and I think this is a, probably a, a true throughout, is that there, if there's, it's like creating a course syllabus for a university course or any course, which is you have to make sure you don't try to do too much. You want to mix some breadth and depth, and those are really difficult things to do. But it's also important that the elements of the program relate to one another. So if we do something early in the program, it's nice if it can come back. Whether it's a skill, let's talk about reading this document, and now revisit reading this document at a later time. Well, that's how we've done oral history really effectively in our program. We've trained teachers in how they might use extant oral histories uh, on the web, stuff that's in uh, at the American Folklife Center that's widely available. Uh, there are a plethora of oral history collections and audio collections you can find in a variety of places. So we give them a sense of that. And actually, the way we do this is with slave narratives. We have them read and listen to slave narratives, and then we interrogate them as historical documents. Well, we do that, and then we create, we've created an oral history project where our teachers go out and then become interviewers in the context of a larger project. And that works that makes them into historians, and they do a great job. We've had a lot of trial and error in doing that. Uh, one of the things that's worked really well, though, is that we, it takes a lot of work on our part. We have to create the project, and what we do is then ask the teachers to help us create the project. Even though we have the outlines created, we ask them to fill in the questions, and they're often, if we give them readings and background information, able to do that. And then we schedule interviews, as part of our two-week summer workshop, and they go out and they do that. We have the interviewers actually come to us, the, the subjects, I should say, and we set the subjects up with our teachers as interviewers. Um, and then we have the teachers do some logging of them, which isn't the same as transcribing. It's a less intensive. It's a minute-by-minute -minute log. Uh, so that's what we've done. And then we take that material and pair it with some other primary source materials we have, we've collected in a local collection and the teachers can create lesson innovations around that. 